Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new premium tier 1 German artillery that was introduced into the game on the 1st of April 2014. The Karl. Now, I can't help but feel that Wargaming haven't really lived up to their usual high standards of modelling and texturing when it comes to the Karl, but it's difficult to be too critical. It is, after all, a free premium tier 1 vehicle. You don't have to spend any gold on buying this. And yet, there are certain aesthetic issues with the model and the texturing that, that kind of detract from the overall appeal. Performance-wise, though, it is pretty solid. It's a Tier 1 artillery, and it has 1500 hit points, which compares quite favourably with Tier 8 heavy tanks. It's quite a light machine as well. Only weighs 20.92 tonnes unloaded and has a 1200 horsepower engine, which means that it will reach a top speed of 70 km per hour, and has a traverse speed of 60 degrees per second. Which compares quite favourably with everybody's favourite tier 6 artillery, the FB304. The view range is also very, very good indeed, 400 metres, right up there with some of the best tier 9 and even tier 10 machines in the game, and it has a fantastic 750 metre signal range with its tier 1 radio. But what about the armour? Well, the armour is where the Carl kind of gets a little bit let down. Flashing up Tank Inspector, it's a kind of good news, bad news situation. Obviously, Carl was designed long before the Germans had even considered putting sloped armour on any of their machines. And with the base armour thickness of 10mm all around, that's pretty bad news when it comes to taking direct hits. However, flashing up the collision model shows a couple of interesting features. First of all, the gun barrel at the front actually counts as 25mm of spaced armour, which is kind of counterbalanced by the fact that the gun housing at the back is just a big, big armour hole, 0mm thick. But the tracks are the interesting part. Shooting at the tracks, they actually count as additional armour, equivalent of 40mm. So the lesson here, of course, is if you are shooting at the coal from the side, aim high. Well. You know, the armor's not great, but you can't have it all. How about the gun? What's this thing actually like as an artillery piece? And there it is. The Tier 1 Gun Morser Karl. It's a 600mm gun. This is the biggest gun that currently exists in World of Tanks. And it has a very, very good 30 rounds per minute rate of fire. It'll fire a shot every 2 seconds. With 50mm of penetration, 300 average damage, means that the Karl, down here at T1, has a very, very competitive 9,000 damage per minute. Of course, the accuracy isn't that good at all, with 0.7, but since it fires one shot every two seconds and only has a two second aiming time, it doesn't really matter if your first shot misses. The second one will be on the way, practically before the first one's even landed on the target. So all in all, I'd have to say the gun's pretty good. Sadly, for all you wallet warriors out there, there is no premium ammunition for the Carl, High explosive is all you're going to get, but it does carry a decent ammunition load, 973 rounds, which should be enough to see you through even the longest of battles. Speaking of battles, let's see how it plays. So here's a first game in Carl, and uh, it seems there's a new map in the game too, and the surprises don't end there. Havoc Physics has finally been implemented in the world of tanks with this new patch, as you can see. The vast majority of all of this scenery is 100% destructible. But before you get too carried away and excited about the introduction of Havoc Physics, not every single piece of scenery in the game can be destroyed. Some of it still has to remain indestructible, purely for game balance reasons. One minor disappointment with Carl is that, as a Tier 1 artillery, he doesn't really have much in the way of effective range, but like the FV304, he's quick enough, he's fast enough to be able to get forward and actually get into a position where he can start putting that gun to use. Oh, that was a big hit. Somebody just got his jimmies rustled. And oh, we're taking fire. And as you can see, comparisons are inevitably going to be drawn with the FV-304 British Tier 6 artillery, because not only is Carl quite a capable artillery piece, he also makes a pretty nasty tank destroyer as well. Of course, it wouldn't be artillery if you didn't spend most of your time camping at the back in the bushes, and despite his size, Carl does seem to have a pretty effective camo rating. Get that stitched, Herman! 
Yeah, I must say, Cole is a very, very enjoyable little artillery piece to play, and an excellent training vehicle if you're thinking of going down the German artillery line. And Carl, of course, demonstrating once again that with the introduction of Havoc Physics into World of Tanks, getting through previously inaccessible areas of the map is, is really going to change the way this game plays. So, there you go, the new premium Tier 1 German artillery, the Carl. It does seem very competitive for a Tier 1 machine, I must say. You know, with its 1500 hit points, its 1200 horsepower engine, its 70 km per hour speed limit, 60 degree per second hull traverse, its 400 meter view range, 750 meter signal range, and its 9000 damage per minute of that 600 millimeter gun. But I feel that these advantages are more than offset by the crappy armor, so I'm going to go with calling it balanced. As always, folks, take care out there, and I'll catch you next time.